Hip hop is a mega billion dollar business. It's the dominant culture and art form in urban areas all over the world. The N word often used by hip hop stars, but fans use it too when rapping or singing along. And we're not just talking about the black fans. You okay with that? Arthur. Ta Nahisi Coates, a Baltimore native, one of the hottest young authors today, has apparently uh, given that question a lot of thought. Here's his take on why white people should not use the N-word. Put the cell phone down. Take a listen. I don't know what to do when I hear my friends using this word in a song. I don't know what to do when it's just, it's all the time. Hmm. Words don't have meaning without context, okay? Um, my wife refers to me as honey. That's accepted and okay between us. If we were walking down the street together and a strange woman referred to me as honey, <laughs> that wouldn't be acceptable. The understanding is I have some sort of relationship with my wife. Hopefully I have no relationship with this strange woman. It's the same thing with words within the African American community or within any community. Uh, my wife with her girlfriend will use the word bitch. I do not join in. I don't, you know, say, hey, I want to, I don't do that. I don't do that. And perhaps more importantly, I don't have a desire to do it. You, you understand? I had a, you know, a good friend who used to have this um, cabin in upstate New York, which he referred to as the white trash cabin. He was white. I would never refer to that cabin. I would never tell him I'm coming to your white trash cabin. <laughs> I just wouldn't do that. I, and and I, you know what I mean? I think you understand why I wouldn't do it. The question one must ask is why so many white people have difficulty extending things that are basic <laughs> laws, you know, of how human beings interact to black people. And I think I know why. <laughs> um, when you're white in this country, you're taught that everything belongs to you. You think you had a right to everything. You had a right to go with you. I mean, you're conditioned this way. It's not, you know, because you, you know, your hair is a texture or your skin is light. It's the fact that the laws and the culture tell you this. You had a right to go where you want to go, do what you want to do, be however, and people just got to accommodate themselves to you. So here comes this word that, you know, you feel like you invented. And now somebody will tell you how to use the word that you invented. You know, well, why can't I use it? Everyone else gets to use it. You know what, that's racism that I don't get to use it. You know, that's racist against me. You know, I have to inconvenience myself and, and hear this song and I can't sing along? How come I can't sing along? You know what I mean? And I think, you know, uh, uh, for white people, I think the experience of being a hip hop fan and not being able to use the word is actually very, very insightful. It will give you just a little peek into the world of what it means to be black. So what do you think? N-word aside, doesn't every minority, every minority population have those words that are ours and yours? We can use them, you can't use them, you don't understand, you haven't lived it, you haven't earned that right. That's excluding the N-word, that's different. That's a different conversa conversation. A lot of uh, black people are in disagreement on that, and I think a lot of it's generational. So what do you think? Tweet me using the hashtag offscriptonline. Whether you agree or not with us, we want to know. We're going to try to get your tweet on television.